some edible fish of the reefs here, of ledges. And uh, yeah, let's first get going, then we'll check. Hey guys, I'm using my Saltiga 6.5, 30 pound braid, should be in this reefy area, so it's advisable to fish 40 or 50. I didn't bring that. Um, so I'm fishing 8.5, a nice piece. This is Maxima Ultra Green. That's on my Grand Elite Medium Heavy. And then I'm going to make my trace with 8.5 as well and my sinker trace with 6.0. These combi swivels make a difference in your lives. The power swivel combi. You love them to bits. Just north of New Greece, and uh, we decided to come look for some edibles in the reef. So, looking good, we've got a slight south, water is clean, looks flat. Um, yeah, I've decided to go a little bit heavier today because the reef's quite thick and you get cut off quite a bit. Yeah, so I got 40 pound J braid on my salt, just 8,000, got a 180 pound leader, and the salt is medium edge, then bait. I've got a little, I've uh, got a 6 ounce circle look here, a uh, tuna circle, normal bottle sinker, 6 ounce bottle sinker, with a bit of uh, prawn and red eye. So, intention is to catch a rock out quickly in the morning, and then we'll scratch around for a pompano, maybe a stumpy a bit later. Alright, ah, let's go, first throw. of my left hand with the scissors. Now it's very difficult to shape my bait. Okay. The nice part about fishing Zululand is all the different species here. You never know what you're going to catch. And you can't go wrong with chocker, red eye, prawn, crayfish, uh, sea lice, octopus, all those baits are tops, yeah. And uh, the fish combinations of them, just one of those baits on its own, works like a bomb. Stumpy, speckled snappers, rockod, uh, pompano, the kingies come through here. There's a whole variety, you get cobia. Um, so that, that type of bait is exactly what I feel confident with here, even though I couldn't tie it nicely. What happened? No man. Pickers, you can get pickers.
Cap trace in the corner. for the big one. Got this cat face. Got the sardine head and a chocolate cutlet. So the peckers are like seems like the black tails are out. So I haven't had a good bite yet, I just got a black tail now. But I'm gonna still persist to get a rock on. So we had some mozzies that we kept alive yesterday. And uh, one there, one didn't make it. So I'm gonna just flap it, just take off the scoot. Right there. Just flap it. <coughs> okay, so this is a fresh mozzy, guys. See that? Just make slice that down the middle there. Down the middle there. Six or circle up to the mouth. There you go. Just gonna cotton that hook on a little bit. Secure it on the nose. Salt is medium heavy, so yeah, that's a grind elite medium heavy. Let's put this bugger back, get a couple more. Okay, viewers, another reef species we get on our coast a little cave bass, not the size we're looking for, but uh, still a pretty fish, very resident fish. Beautiful white dots, blackish copper coloration. Very pretty fish, very big eye. So that's a cave bass. I just put this little guy back. 